Hi, Low Hawkers! Let's welcome it as the doorman again. Open the door with a Pokemon series minus Nuzlocke. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more content, ding that bell for notifications, and check out all my social medias in the description down below. With that out of the way, how is everybody doing today? Doing fairly decent. I didn't walk, but I did sleep, so I got one of the two things that I needed, apparently. We're gonna do, do a quick team recap here because I know the team definitely changed since last time. We now have Levy back on the squad, the C. The Silophid? Silophid or something like that. Silophid. We're going to say Silophid. Silophid over here. <laughs> if I learned to that click buttons. With Fly, Growth, Air Slash, and Energy Ball. We have Avery over here, the slow bro with Surf, with Draw, Slack Off, and Confusion. We have Tails over here, the Blitzen with Bite Flash, Thunderbolt, and Thunder Wave. We have Poli over here with Mud Bomb, Sandstorm, Iron Defense, and Ancient Power. Next, we have Critic, the Yarmat. With Yawn Sludge, Withdrawal, and Shadow Punch. And we have Judo over here, the Machamp, Facade, Bulk Up, Revenge, and Strength. And that is the team. Like I said, there's a few little bit changes, but definitely changes here. Instead of keeping the Pokemon that I know are like good and stuff like that, I decided, to, not that they're not good, but I went with more of the fake Pokemon because I've always wanted to do with the fake Pokemon and stuff like that. So that's the Pokemon that I have, is more fake Pokemon and stuff like that. I should be at the right level for the gym. I don't remember which what it was though. Fire and electric. Okay. Okay, so fire and electric. Um, Avery's gonna lead the party, and then we're gonna do Poli. So them two definitely not gonna go. Leafy's not gonna be in this fight at all. Like just not in this fight at all. Um. Yeah, I think they're all gonna be double idols here. But how is everybody doing today? Hope everybody having a fantastic day today. Like I said, I didn't get the chance to walk the puppy and only walk him. I think it's like maybe a total of like three to five miles. I, can't, I know it's definitely like two. I know that. But it is a little bit of a walk there, so. I unfortunately did not get to walk him, so unfortunately. Um... Uh, I feel like Surf hits me. I feel like it's in this gen that Surf does hit me. I do feel like this is a gen where Surf does hurt me. I'll be right back. No, we're not going to do that. You know what? polly has been here. He's been able to live long enough and stuff like that. I believe we're good. I just believe we're good. We're just going to call it that way. I just believe we're good. Weird that he would Thunderbolt me. Not gonna lie, weird they would Thunderbolt me. But if Surf does hit me, um, Poli is dead. Poli will die. Okay then. <laughs> that does answer my question. Poli will not get hit by the Surf because I'm like, wait a minute, is this the? Because I remember, I don't know if they fixed it in later gens or. It was like that in old gens, but it's not in this one. Because I remember there used to be gens where it would hit your other partner at the same time. But I feel like it may have been the newer ones now. It hits all the parties. And they did it for serve for regular, and then they would do the added. Um, but I feel like that's what it is. I feel that's what it is. Pikachu, you look so weird. But I know why you look so weird. But Pikachu looks so weird in this sprite. Like, just one of the weirdest things I've seen. Okay, so you must have the fire, my good sir. Yes, he does have the fire. But I can't remember. I, I think it is the new generations, though, where Surf does hit all of the parties. Because it did. I think it used to just hit the two. Then they added the third. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Let me know down below if I'm wrong on that or not. But I'm pretty sure on that one. Do they work? Oh, they don't even... Do they not work? Oh, that's just because the tiles. That's why. Okay, so we're going to talk to you. Um, You probably... Oh, you have the fire. Okay, cool. That's cool. I thought it was the teleport of pads. That's what I thought it was. But no, it's just the pads so then the tiles can move. So that's my bad. Which means that you or you...
You have the Voltorb. Okay, I'm pretty sure I guess Turf can knock you out still. Yes. Okay, let me see here. I'm glad they don't have the check tag at the very top of the games now. Because I'm like, that was not fun for me. So then we're going to do this. Gold Dawn, okay. I think I know what the evolution. I think I know what the pre-evolution is. That one little bitty little fire chicken. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Does a lot of damage. I am sorry. I don't know why my brain is just drawing a blank on all this stuff. <laughs> it's drawing the biggest blank out of everything. Let me see here. And then there we go. Um... Oh, I go. Went out to fight that one dude. I will take that. Uh. Okay. I don't know where the green is. Is it this way? It is this way. Well, that is a double battle. Or not. Ha <laughs> ha. I have that smarticle brain. I have that smarticle brain. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank today. I just am. I'm just drawing a blank. With stuff to talk about or anything like that. Because, like, nothing else is going on. Nothing else is going on. Just work stuff. That's just it. So this might be a little bit more of a silent episode. But I'm probably going to be trying to solve the puzzles and everything. So, that's all I can say. You're probably the fire. Yes. And your power, you... Uh, you're probably the electric, which is fine for me, because I can mud bomb you. Okay. Now you're going to be the fire. Fire! Um, okay. How many more mud bombs do I have? I have five. I kind of want to save my lip berries and stuff, so five should be okay. There we go. Where does this go? That goes there, okay. I don't worry about them. There we go. And we're at the gym leader. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see if I have like any orange. I do have orange berries that'll work. There we go. All right. Seventh gym trainer time. I already know. I'm Mayan. This is Chaz. We're the gym leaders here. And we're twins. We don't want to brag, but our combination is perfect. Do get carried away sometimes. Don't say that. All right. Sorry. Can you defeat us? Show us what you've got. Okay. I like the little hair flips. That's kind of cool. I like the little hair flips. Okay. Um... Okay, I've used the one on the left before, the Simi Tooth. I don't think I've used the one on the right, the Wispelode. I don't think I've used that one before. Um. Hmm. He's also a rock, so this is going to be quad week, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. It is quad week, so we ain't got to worry about that. Which means Surf does regular damage to this Pokemon here. No, it's still going to do half, but they're two fire types, which is really good. I should be fine. Yeah, I ate that like it was nothing. I'm just slow bros going, oh, no, 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 no. That didn't do as much damage as I thought that was. And... Fire dragon, maybe? Huh. 
okay? Didn't mean to drop the controller. I don't know why, I'm just not here today. Oh, okay, what are you doing? Oh, that is Solar Beam. Um, okay, I don't know who you're hitting. I did do... He's dragon typing because Rock was still super effective. So, okay, um... Either Poli's just that fast, or my Quick Claw keeps popping. Do I have Quick Claw on him? Forgot about you. Um, okay, um, let me look at something here real quick, because... No, okay, he's just that fast. Okay, so Poli, I know, could take out the Fire Dude. I know he probably could take out the Fire Dude. I know that. I am scared of that, um, big old muddy woody. So, we're about to do this real quick. Because I'm pretty sure I can eat one hit from the Spherical. Especially with Critic, because Critic is bulk. Yes, and I outspeed that one, which means that I will make sure it does not get to use a Solar Beam. <gasps> okay, that was very close on my end. Very close. That was very close. Okay, so just a one, just a one. Okay, um, so we're going to sludge it, and then I'm going to mud bomb it. I don't have a king, I don't have a rock, I mean, a, a quick claw, so like, it's weird that I'm outspeeding this thing. That's why. That is why I'm outspeeding. I'm like, wait a minute, there should be no reason I outspeed this thing at all. But now I know. Okay, so Shadow Punch, I forgot. Electric Resist Poison? Okay. Now, Critic does have a quick claw. He does have the quick claw on him, so I know that. I know that. But that is the evolution of Electrode. Spherical. Sphere, sphere coil. So that is the evolution of him. I think he's awesome. I've used him before. He is super fast. Like, if they could get Electro Ball in this uh, game, that'd be so. That'd be one of his best moves, honestly. Surprised we get through the gym with no deaths. I will take this. And now our um, level cap is now uh, 8 badge, 46 to 51. So not bad. We have to be at least level 46. Ooh, flamethrower. Okay. I'm not worried about registering now. So I said, I do apologize if I'm not like a lot of speaking. Um, don't know why I'm not. I'm just... I guess I, like, have nothing to say, really, which is weird, because I'm a YouTuber, I should have stuff to say, but I have nothing to say at the moment, so everything's kind of peachy, I guess you would call it. Um, who is... Critic is still the lowest right now, so we're definitely going to change it to him. And Leafy, but... Critic is a, is a tank. Like, whenever I mean, like, Critic is a tank, he's a tank. A lot of HP, a lot of defense is not very good attacks. So it's one of those, he's got yawn and withdrawal. So like, I will either put you to sleep or I'll poison you and then I'll just chip you down. Critic, yeah. He's actually a ghost type, which is funny. He goes from a poison type to a dark type and then ends off with being a ghost type. And it's just funny how that happens. Now this was something I did come across in like between recordings so as, as Emerald version. So yeah. This is the thing where you do do over here with the battle tower, with the, not the battle tower, the space shuttle place museum. Where you have like an inner, inner go like to gang war over here, that's what you have. Um, I'll probably fight you, which is correct. But it's like in the middle of the space center, that's what the name is, but in the middle of the space center you have an intergalactic gang war, so it's just funny. Which I think I did say in the episode, I'm not sure. If I did not, I did get a Beldum. I did get a Beldum, so that is something cool there. Well, I'm glad Critic's a ghost type because he's perfect for Beldum, but I thought it was still super effective. No, they didn't add the ghost typing and stuff yet. No, Seal Resist Ghost, that's why it's dark. And they didn't add the dark type weakness to Beldum and Bronzong, for example, until later on. That's what it was. I was like, why am I not super effective? That's because of Seal Typing. 
Like, steel is one of the most offensive typings ever. Just wish it... I just wish there was, like, that steel, like, the, um... Because I don't think there is a specially defensive steel type. Now, you can prove me wrong. Definitely prove me wrong. Got no problem with that. But I don't think there's a special defensive steel type... Special defensive steel type Pokemon. They're all defensively strong. Which I'm like, makes sense to a degree when you talk about it. You know, steel being rock hard. A little steel hard. But I also feel like steel blocks a lot of, like, telepathy and stuff like that to a degree. Like, with Magneto and, and, and uh, Charles Xavier, Professor X... They block a lot of that stuff, so like it would make sense for them to have like some type of special defensive steel type to a degree. Like I understand it's physically defensive, but like I would think that would also be like you know like a like a physical defensive, like a special defensive maybe even on some degree. Oh well, see here's the thing: I'm not trapped with you; you're trapped with me. That's what happens here. There you go. But I could be wrong at that. By that, like I said, steel types always been like physically defensive. I've don't think I've seen a special defensive steel type. I don't think I have. So it's just kind of one of those, I'm just like, hmm. I don't think I've seen that. But like I said, let me know below if there actually is a special, a special defensive steel type. I don't think there is. But it would be cool if there was. See, this reminds me of the EBL Season 4. No, Season 3. No, oh, season four. I've been different seasons. Season three, where I'm trying to use like this plus speeds, like autonomized Agron with sturdy in order to help me win, and it just backfired every single time. Cause he, cause revenge does a negative priority, so you still want to move first anyway. But I could have just used a regular move and outsped and killed it. So yeah, I kind of learned. There's some plans that work, and some plans that don't. Or at least there's, like, Nuzlocke strats, and then there's, you know, other strats. So, yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm like, okay, Nuzlocke strats don't equal to VGC strats. That's not how that works. And sometimes you can use VGC strats in order to end a regular Pokemon game, but most of the time you can't, so, yeah. Um, we're going to yawn you. Ooh, that yawn made me yawn. <sighs> that's okay, though. You're gonna go to sleep. Yeah, that's what I meant, though. I was like, he, he, he not gonna do a lot of damage, so it's gonna take me a second with him to get some levels. I wish I had a healing move, like Drain Punch or something like that. That'd be so good for him, honestly. Yeah, you're gonna do the light screen. Let me heal real quick. He is thick, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Another paralysis. Oh, I don't get a chance to heal, do I? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think Critic's got this. Critic is thick. Critic is tough. He is a critic. He has to have thick skin in order to be a critic. Um, but poison, I can't really touch with this guy. No. <laughs> I was like, I'm thick at everything, and I went, now, nah, Muck is also very physically defensive. I will be, like, hitting a brick wall. Eventually, he's going to kill me. I mean, I can play to sleep. I don't like that. I don't like that. At all. Because now I'm minus four defense, and I don't have Psychic. Why did I not switch? I'm just glad I didn't get poisoned. Because if I got poisoned, I would have been so mad. I probably would have still lived because um, it would have ended the battle. But my brain was like, he's doing a screech. He's doing screech. And yeah, I'm like, psychic. No, confusion. Confusion. Just didn't think. I'm so glad I lived. I'm so glad I had my nature as bold. He had, he had a bold nature. That's why I went with the slow bro. But I'm just so glad because, like, that would have not been happy about that one. I would have not been happy with that one because of the fact that, yeah. <laughs> he would have just straight up, I got lucky. I don't know if it was a high roll, don't know if it was a low roll. I just know he screeched me four times. I was a slow bro with bold nature. I don't know about what the EV spread is. 
But I'm just happy. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Did you lower my defense? No, he lowered my speed. That's what it was. Okay, I'm okay with speed loose. I'm okay with speed loss. But I'm just like, oh my gosh. I just watched his health just start going down and down and down. And I'm like, oh, I'm adding a slap. I'm adding a slow king to the party instead of slow bro. But unfortunately for me, it's he lived. Now, it's one of those. I do have another, like, water fake him on, but it is also grass. And I don't want to have two grass types. So I'm kind of keeping the one grass type I have now, if that makes sense. That's the only reason why I haven't added the other water type. Because I'm out looked at his evolution. It'd be so cool. It'd be so bad, eh? Like, it would be so good if I managed to have that one. Okay. I think this is the one where I battle with, um, Brendan here. Normally you battle with Steven. Against, like, Maxie or Archie. But this time it's going to be Brendan versus Steven with Aldina. Power Awakened Kyogre. Far more skill in handling it, so I'm not a mistake like Wallace did. Universe will be mine. <laughs> just punched a kid. He just punched a kid. Possessed by Nemea's power. Snap you out of it. Dorman, you want to go into battle together? Let's join forces. Are you ready? Yeah, because you only get three Pokemon. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to choose... Um... um Let's do Avery as the first one, because I feel like I, I, I'm going to be good there. Poli's been a rock, honestly. And Critic. No. Special, physical, um, Critic. He's really thick. I can put it to sleep and then, like, do poison games and stuff like that if I need to. Oh, Gengar, Star Raptor, and Delayed. Okay, level 50, though. Okay, um, I might be a little underleveled here. I might be a little underleveled. I love Steven's outfit. Like, Wallace is nice, but Steven's outfit is so amazing. No, I'm actually at the right level. He's just a little higher for me. You're supposed to be the Gen 3 master, Brendan. And you have a Gen 1, a Gen... A one Gen, Gen, Gen 1, a Gen 4. Plus the Gengar shiny, so that's kind of cool, actually. Um... Well, that's a doo-doo on my part. I should have just went with Surf. Yeah. I should have just went with Surf. I didn't think about Gengar doing that. Oh, this ain't gonna hit at all. Because he's dark type. Yeah, um, but he's not a good dark type. See, I want to do Poli because I can have ground for the Bronzong and for the Go-Go. But I feel like Go-Go's got, like, double kick and stuff. So I'm just going to go spread damage. I'm just going to go spread damage. I will take that. Go, go. Like, you know, Bronzong, Bron Bronzong's scary. But on its own... Oh, I can't even escape if I wanted to. Okay, so... But, like, Bronzong on his own is scary but not scary. Like, on a 1v1, it ain't gonna do enough damage. Double Team is the great support mon. So, I'm like, I'm more worried about that gigantic goat over there. You are a ground type, I want to say. And Intimidate, not gonna factor anything at all. Oh. Oh, I'm physically bulky, so I should be fine. Yeah, I was fine. Yeah. Okay, okay. I wonder if he protected him because he knew about the uh, future site. Because that has not hit yet. I figured it wouldn't kill. Gahahaha! Oh, well, no, he still took the attack even though he protected. Okay. I wasn't as super effective, though. And he landed the double protect. He landed the double protect. What the heck, man? How does that work? Brendan Knight got a shiny Gengar. Probably, no, I, I would say Choice Specs, but no, he's using Protect, so it's not that. 
And then lands a, like, a shiny Gengar, level 50, and then at the same time doing a Protect. Like, what the heck, man? Like, a Gengar is, like, amazing. But what's funny is Gen 1 versus the Fakemon, so it's just funny. I wonder if there's so many people usually VGC back in the old days with the Slowbro Gengar set. You're... Um... Oh, that's why the Shadow Doll Ball did nothing. I forgot about that Shadow Ghost type is physical. I want to say... He's not fire. I know he's psychic. No, he's not psychic no more. Is he steel? He's a Bronzong. That, he's like Metagross, basically. Bron Metagross and Bronzong. He's a steel... Oh, he did. He did. Oh, he lived. Okay. But he's a steel, so he's a he's a psychic steel type. That's what it is. I remember now. Because I remember trying to figure that myself because I couldn't remember it the first time. There's his Metagross. Oh, okay. I managed to get some surf damage off of him. Avery out here just proven... I don't know a Metal Blast. That one's a new move. That one's a new fake move. Shiny Star Raptor? Oh, no matter. He's going to die from Surf anyway. Avery almost knocked him out in one hit. Probably would have if it was maybe two or three levels higher. Another crit. Avery does not like Metagross at all. He's like, no. Come so strong. Such power. Just the majestic. Such power. I was like, I'm surprised you came all the way here, but you still won't be able to stop us after all. Look, I have Aldina. More powerful than us in battle, although it's not exactly revelant, revelant now. All right, no point in remaining here. All they left to do is a wicked Kyogre. Shouldn't stop him, even though you let me your power. Help me meet me in Steven's house later. He lived in Love Store. He lived on this island. Yeah, I already went to his house. Okay. So, like, are they just working? Huh. Okay. Did they just replace the scientist with Team W Team WH? Huh. Okay. That was really weird. That was kinda weird. Cause I don't know why I thought about it, but I'm like, why is Team BH just at the space station? You know, just kinda chilling, not really doing anything. It's just like, um that's kinda weird. That was weird. I don't know why that was weird. I just know it was weird. That was weird. Nope. Long house. Aha! Here it is. I don't know which one it is. The house of Teen Witch's leader, Steven. He used to be the champion, but I don't want to tell you that. I'll give you this. Hidden Dive. It's funny how he's the one giving us the stuff and stuff like that. No dark patches of water, dive, you'll drop the seafloor. When you come back up, you dive again. Some place will puzzle for your surface though. Oh, that it? You want the Captain Stern find the submarine a few years ago. Okay, okay. So he already knows about it. Okay. So that'll be off in the next episode. We're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be going underwater, trying to get to where Kyogre is, awaken him, and then we'll see where we go from there. But with that, thank you everybody for watching. It does help out with the YouTube algorithm and for me because it lets me know that you like the episode and I can keep, I keep doing content like this. It just lets me know that you like it. And with that, I'll see you next time.